Welcome back to the most wackiest Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes channel. I'm your host, the Smithy D, and today we're going to have a look what the currently the best free-to-play squad is. Let's quickly take a look what's under the hood of these um, characters in Hanido. Um, so straight away, um, if you've seen my other videos, you'd see um, my Anakin. I've, I've lowered his speed now to 152, um, just to keep my Han ST speed up. Um, I've kept pretty much everything the same, maybe lost 2% on his critical chance. If you haven't seen the Anakin video um, of how I modded him, please go check that out. Lando, I've left untouched from my other video. He's still identically the same. So again, if you haven't seen that video, please jump on and grab that. Um, I've worked out that it is normally sometimes great for Anakin to go before um, Lando. So he, Lando then gets a fence off up but I don't think it's a major difference for Lando's first attack as long as Annie goes after him or sometimes with Han ST he can then go before or after there is no particular order uh, my my kind of like trooper that's shine yeah he is a taunter he doesn't do much except for taunt and give my team turn meter he is just there from the get-go to really give that burst so he's got 219 speed once I use Lando lead, he gets another 15 kind of speed on top of that. His draw fire right here, hand taunts for three turns, and all other allies gain 30% turn meter. So that's major. And then whenever he gets attacked, that's 20% turn meter. Hanido is like your ingredient, it's the formula, it's the three kind of characters that you want in your team as your kind of like structure, then beyond that it's up to you really what you do with your characters, for example, what works great with Palpatine within Hanido is Ben, you could also use another attacker, another taunter, but I do find for the free to play, so I normally use Sumfak, but I believe Ben is the next best thing. Why that is, he's not a taunter, but he can debuff. He does do great against kind of like Palp lead. I know there's a whole controversy of is he any good now? Is he dead? I can tell you he's very much alive. Um, I've gone with the adapt on him with some speed and some potency. The more potency he's got, the more the lead of Palp's not going to reduce it because it's a 32% it reduces. So the higher you can get that, the less affected you really are. Um, with speed on there as well, with Han ST, Lando, he, he de definitely makes a good team, especially against these kind of like wigs and bigs, you know, he's putting the offense, the offense down, the ability block, he's kind of like neutering the squad. Palpatine's leader ability um, is minus 32% potency, so that does affect Ben, um, but we're going to show you in this matchup now with enough potency on Ben, it doesn't really make much difference to him. I don't know if the mechanic in the game's broken or it's supposed to be like that. I do have quite high potency on my Ben. As you can see, speed is everything. So this is welcome back to the speed meta. And here's your postcard, it's Lando. So the most important thing here is to have as quick as possible you can make your Stormtrooper hand so he goes first. So that then calls kind of like a, a, a mass effect. So you're gonna have either Palpatine put his AOE stun down or you're gonna have Ben with his turn meter. That, that alone is a deadly combo because his turn meter ability where he ability blocks, offense down, and he also removes the turn meter or Ben does. So it's fantastic, especially working with a combo with Palpatine. Then you've got your damage dealers, Anakin, and you also got extra turn meter from Han, and you've also got Lan. Old meta versus new meta. So we're going against the uh, Obi Wan lead here, and um, so it is again the importance of really Han ST going. Um, so I can then put my kind of deep buffs down, um, and then just really start hacking it down like a tree, pretty much. Um, so as you can see, I've adopted for using Obi Wan. Um, I've used Palp to stun on. As you can see, there's some facts in at the back. He's stunned at the minute, he's got a fence down, um, we've got ability block on Lando at the moment, Anakin's about to drop himself, um, we've also put a shock onto Han Stormtrooper there, so he's not taunting at all, um, I've also just put another shock on Anakin, so he's not going to get any passive whatsoever, uh, completely cleared the team out, we've just got Ben left pretty much, so yeah let's just wrap this up and take them out and let's move on to the next part of what we're doing 
always found, um, like I've got some fact myself, and um, he is, he's difficult, he's one of those annoying characters that just counters pretty much everything and you just need to stun him, that's the way around him, um, is to stun him and then take him down, it's similar to what you do with Fives or Duke, um, instead of fighting on head on it's best just to really stun them or use them <laughs> to counter on your hand. Thank you so much for making it to the end and fully watching my video. I hope you have enjoyed it and I hope I haven't bored you to death with my explaining of things. But please, if you enjoyed this video, please hit a like. But before you go, I've got some a little extra treat for you. Enjoy.